Uh, my name's Milford Thomas, and uh, I'm a filmmaker that did a movie called Claire, and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. And my name is Ann Richardson. I uh, did the music for Milford's film, which is called Claire, I think you said. Um, I am from Atlanta, but I currently live in Jordan. So, okay. so what is your film about, like briefly resummed? Well, just literally, it's about an el elderly male couple that find a little girl from the moon inside an ear of corn and raise her as their own child. Wow, and why did you choose to tell this story? This is such a fairy tale story. Well, it is. It's literally a fairy tale. It's based on the Japanese fairy tale. Uh, I lived in Japan 20 something years ago, and this was my favorite Japanese fairy tale. And actually, I think a couple of years ago, they did an anime movie called The Princess from the Moon or The Moon Princess or something recently. Uh, it's the same basic story, but uh, in the Japanese version, she comes out of corn. I'm sorry, uh, bamboo. And then in my American South story, she comes out of corn. And how did you work together? Like, how did this whole cooperation come came up? Um, well, Milford and I go back pretty far. Um, I, we he answered an ad uh, in the in the paper for a roommate in a loft <laughs> in a flat downtown Atlanta, which began our uh, friendship and. He, years later, we ended up working together in a cafe, and he talked, he began talking about this project. And I had just finished a master's degree in composition and come back to Atlanta, and you know, my ears perked up at that, and we started having conversations about, uh, about working together. I don't know if either of us mentioned so far that it is a silent film. Um, obviously, he would want to talk more about that, and I composed the score for the film. So it was a lot of music. Yes. She had to write a lot of music. <laughs> Why did you decide to make a silent film? Because you had a great composer? But <laughs> well, she came second, but, uh, or after the fact. Um, I have always loved silent cinema. Um, it's just more, I don't know, it can be more powerful to me. Um, I prefer to speak in images and feelings rather than words. And um, and I grew up as a child making Super 8 movies. You know, this is before video, uh, and with a family camera, and um, they were always silent, of course. So I don't know. It's just a, a natural sequence for me, and I like antique things. Um, and so we used an actual camera from the 1920s, an old hand crank camera. Um, so that doing that fascinated me. Making a, making a feature film with antique equipment. Uh, and I insisted on live music at each screening. Uh, I did not want a soundtrack on the film. I wanted a specific score in the theater with the music. And so that's where Anne came in. And, um, and then we just sort of trusted each other, really, to start the project together. And it took several years, mostly because of money on my, on, on my side. So. And how did it challenge you to make a music for such a movie, which is a fairy tale movie and um, oh, most of all silent? Yes, um, that was quite a challenge. I don't, um, I had not ever done a film score before. I've done um, things for play, for stage and other and other media, but uh, not for a film. And to have it be a silent film was a little bit uh, daunting. It was, it was a, <laughs> a big challenge. Yes. It's a full hour. It's an hour long. Straight. So it's an hour of music. Um, but it's it's interesting because, like Milford said, I I also work in images, even even as a composer. Um, I, I, I think that's a way to say it. I don't know how else to say it. I, there are images that I, I like to paint images even when I'm composing for a concert, just venue or a small chamber orchestra or any kind of venue, um, always been very, very uh, interested in, in programmatic music or music that is very evocative of images, and um, that made us kind of a perfect fit, even though, as he said, we didn't know if it would be a good fit. Um, we trusted each other on that, so came together, yeah. The film is from 2001. Why do you think it is still important to show this film? Well, I think it still has an audience because it's always a live music event. So it's not entrapped. Um, 
trap, but it's a live music event. Also, it's a, a timeless fairy tale, so you really don't see a certain era in the movie. It's not the year 2000, you know, which would be out of date now. Uh, it's more timeless, so you can really watch it, I think, at any point in the future um, and sort of get the same thing out of it. So I think those are the two main reasons it still has an audience. Um, yeah, and you know, fairy tales are universal. They're not really specific to contemporary details. You know, it's a universal experience. Uh, that's why they're fairy tales. So. And to close with a very easy question, what do you think about the festival so far? I am loving it. It's it's um, it's a wonderful experience. Um, we had done several festivals years ago, and um, now since we've done a reduction of the score to a string quartet or to a quartet rather from the orchestra, um, thank you, Brian Mitchell. Uh, it's got a new life, and I am back in this this atmosphere again, and I love it. I'm like as I said, I'm not a film uh, composer. And I just, but I really appreciate seeing all the, the artists of, their, of every level, you know, student artists to seasoned professionals, everybody coming together. And I, I love film. Um, this is a really nice festival. It seems like it's well appreciated and well supported. So, so yeah. yeah, it's like she said, we've been to uh, a lot of festivals and um, I've been to even more in other work. but. It's a very good festival. Uh, it's a great uh, cross-section of programming. Uh, it's very well executed, it's very organized, and it's very enjoyable for us as, as guests. It's mm -hmm. been lovely so far. So thank you very much, and thank you for being here for the German premiere, actually. So. Yeah, thank you. Good. All right. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. It was a nice talk. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen.